Hi, I'm Christy Titus, and I want to thank you for joining me for my latest episode of Pursue the Wild Tips from the Wild. As a hunter, anytime I head a field, I want to make sure that I have done everything that I possibly can to make my first shot count on a big game animal. So in front of me, I have the Ruger Precision Rimfire Rifle. This is a 22 long rifle. One of the reasons I like training with this is because it has no recoil. It is literally fun for the entire family to shoot. The other thing that's really nice about it is the bolt. You can have it set for a standard bolt throw of a normal 22 long rifle, or you can take out um, the spacer that's in the bolt and actually have a full throw that would simulate the same full throw that you're gonna have on your bolt cycle while you're field and hunting. What this little rifle helps you develop is unconscious competence in being safe and efficient while you're afield. The other thing I'm running here is the Night Force SHV 4-14. This is a great scope uh, from Night Force that's perfect for this training activity as well as taking a field. For equipment, I'm going to be running a bipod on the fore end of my rifle, which is standard for me while afield. Also, I tend to bring along a small shooting bag that I can use for uh, tripod positions and also my tripod. Also, you guys will notice that I've got a backpack. I also like to train to build shooting positions with my backpack because these are the basic components that I have in the field. So it is important to get off the bench and really recreate realistic training scenarios. I see a lot of people that want to train or practice with their Magnum rifles. Um, those are great for hunting. However, what happens a lot of times is they're lighter weight, they have more recoil, and we can develop some bad habits with a heavy recoiling rifle. Um, we've seen it with flinching. We've seen a lot of things that's tougher to spot shots. It's harder to have proper follow through with those rifles. So being able to train with a light recoiling rifle is going to give you a good foundation of your fundamentals of marksmanship making you much more confident and comfortable afield. When we're hunting, we always want to consider our surrounding environment. What types of terrain features are we going to be able to utilize when it's time to make our shot? When we actually find a place that we can build a resting position, there's a few things that we need to consider. Time and opportunity. Oftentimes we find things like this. We have a downed log. Let me demonstrate a couple of ways that I would use a potential sitting shot off of a log like this. First, I can throw my bag down, set my gun, and use my knee to support my shooting elbow. Get into position, chamber around, and I'm on target. Impact. There's a couple ways to execute this shooting position. Now, if you needed to gain a little more elevation, you can drop these bipod legs and set them onto the log. But that brings the back of my rifle a lot farther away from the ground and I can no longer support my shooting elbow with my knee. This is where my backpack comes into play. So now I can actually take my backpack in this position, set the buttstock of my rifle against my backpack, and in essence, recreate the same scenario I just shot. So here I'm practicing using all of my available resources. If you've never shot using a backpack as a rest and you've never used a bipod, this is a really solid shooting position that you'll wanna practice at home prior to entering the field. More often times than not, you're gonna find yourself not being able to find a natural place to get a shooting position rest, which is why the tripod is my favorite piece of equipment to bring a field. You can shoot off a tripod and practice this from not only the kneeling, sitting, but also the standing positions. One thing you want to achieve when you do shoot from the standing is what I call full muscular relaxation. So don't approach your tripod with your knees bent and have kind of a wobbly stance because they'll get tired of holding the shooting position and you'll start to shake. That's gonna disrupt your sight picture and make your shot less accurate. So what you want to have is your knees locked out into the rear. One thing also when you're shooting from the standing, you wanna make sure that your tripod leg, the third leg is facing straight forward so that you can kind of lean in into that leg without it tipping over and collapsing. When you get on target, I like to take and lock my elbow out like this. My knees are locked out and I have absolutely zero muscular tension. So if you look at this, my tripod is now level with my sternum. 
Another great thing about this is while you're stalking an animal, you can have your tripod set at an appropriate height. So when you are afforded the opportunity to make that shot, you simply just throw it on your tripod and you break that shot and it literally takes seconds. I encourage you all to get out and practice some of these basic shooting positions before hunting season. Trust me, shooting this rifle is fun for the entire family and it will give you more confidence when you head afield.